install. Start off. This is obviously three panels. Every panel has a positive and a negative. So, Amazon. These connectors, pretty sweet. Got my extension cables, one for the positive, one for the negative. Then, this is for a positive and negative cables that run into the van. And this is what we'll plug into the, the Goal Zero Yeti. Alright, all three solar panels are on top, mounted, sealed, wired up, connected, all that, all the good stuff. As you see, I put uh, under each tab, I put some butyl tape, then I secured it with the self tappers that come, and then I used the quad max sealant, I really like this stuff, um, and as you can see, I just gobbed it on here. Um, put a lot, and uh, Obviously my connections are underneath the middle panel and all my connections are underneath the panel so try to prevent it from, you know, the weather and the uh, water. And so, panels, install, check. Obviously you just need to go pull out the Goal Zero Yeti, hook it up to it, see what all goes down. Alright guys, so... Right now I'm just going to do some tests, some electrical, and yes, that is a Gold Zero Yeti 1400. So, that's how we're going to do for our solar, you know. So, what I'm testing right now, these, this is the Anderson, you know, pole, Anderson power pole connectors. Got my 12 gauge wire, I made that connection, and I've got it to this fuse blocks, fuse block, that was weird. Um, with the energy power pole connector so i had to make my connectors on here i'm just going to test some electrical to make sure hey i got it right but so what i'm going to show you guys is how to use these anderson power pole connectors this crimping tool and things like that all right so see these connectors what you want to do is you'll measure about hey you know this is how this long this little barrel is this little barrel you want to strip off that much wire. So, so what I'll do, strip it off. Helps sometimes to give it a little twist. And let's see. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So then you'll do this. And what you'll do is this little crimping tool. It's got these little slots where this end will go into. But you see, it's got 15, 30, and 45. These are 30 amp. Um, connectors so we'll slide it right in through there what you do you slide it in and you'll just crimp until it basically releases and lets off so slide it in there and then you're done so for the next one you want to do the same but you already have another connector yeah you that might be a little long. You want to do the same, and you want to make sure that the orientation of them are perfect. That. And you don't want to have any strands missing. Make sure you get all the strands inside. So, see, orientation is the same now. These little loop thingies are pointing down. So, that's what you want to do. You want to make sure the orientation is the same. And then grip it. So what you need to do now is grab one of these ends. See, red, black. What you do, you slide it into this big, you know, square end. You know, slide it with the tabs pointing down. And let me grab the right one here. And you'll hear it. Hear it snap. If I'm doing it right. Did you hear that? I hope you did. I'm working on the microphone connection to, to do that. It'll be better. Let's see. Hush, bird. I know you heard that one. You had to have heard that one. Yeah. All right. So that's what. This will then connect into boom. There. And we'll get some power. So stay tuned. Let's hope this works. We've got the power coming from the Yeti to this. Then this. 
to the Switch. Obviously, it's just, you know, kind of barely done right now. But if you look, we have bedroom lights. Do you need my help? Come on. I stole the card. <laughs> 